Hey guys, Lude here, and welcome back to yet another plugin tutorial. This one is obviously carrying on from the previous ones that I've got, as they are all in the same series. Uh, I believe this is episode six, five, six. I can't really remember. I'm recording on all oh, yeah, I'm recording all these in a go, so I have actually videos to upload. Um, so in this tutorial is going to be uh, a player drop event and play interact event. Uh, hopefully, um, to basically stop players interacting. With things that aren't necessary. Um, in fact, no, I'll do interactive event in a different tutorial, probably the next one, because it, that, that will include the item frames, fishing, and a lot of other things. Uh, so, let's go ahead and do the play drop event. The slash slash when a player tries to drop an item, slash block. Uh, so, at event handler public. Void on uh, item drop. Um, I believe it's player drop event. Uh, yeah, item event. E. And um, we're also going to stop pick up events. Um, so player can't actually pick up things. So uh, as usual, player p equals e dot get player. Uh, actually, no, we don't really need that. Um, Hmm. Uh, well, that kind of depends. Um, we kind of want to. Well, this is up to you. If you want to have a permission, uh, where players, if they have the permission, they can drop and they can pick up items. Uh, you want to go ahead and do if. Well, you basically want to do the permission thing, and then e dot set cancelled. Um, so uh, either way, I'm just going to do e dot set. Uh, let me make sure that it's set, not dropped. Yes, e dot set cancelled. So e dot set cancelled. And then true, and the same with slash slash when a player tries to pick up an item slash block. So I don't really want uh, players to be picking up or dropping an item, um, even if they are opt or something. So on item pick up, and then player, I believe it's pick up. Uh, Pick up item event um, equals e dot set cancelled true. Now obviously you guys have this skill to go ahead and implement a permission. Uh, down here I'm just going to do end of uh, class uh, just so that I remember where the end of the class is because of this. I don't want to overwrite this. Uh, so that is pretty much that. Um, I don't want any players to drop or pick up an item even if it is dropped. Uh, so yeah, so let's go ahead and export this next. But before I actually finish off the export, I'm going to go ahead and run the server first, so I can actually drop an item, not pick it up, and prove to you guys that I can't actually pick up an item, because otherwise that'd be hard to do. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the game. Actually, no, I won't see you guys in the game. Uh, I'll do it now. So <laughs> so let me just go ahead and drop an item. Um, I can pick it up. Just make sure I can pick it up. There you go. Uh, so place it down. Let's go ahead and go to uh, Eclipse. Finish. Yes. And then reload. As you can see, I can't drop an item. Pressing Q. Can't drop. Boom. It's not on the floor. Right. Okay, that didn't work. Um, can't pick up an item either. Uh, so if I break this, I can't pick this up. Uh, I can't pick it up in any type of uh, group, so if I manually add NGX to default, um, you'll realise that I can't actually pick anything up, or nor can I actually drop things. Obviously, uh, I tried to drop it, so if I try and uh, right click a uh, block, it will come back. Uh, try and right click the big sky, it's not going to work. Left click the sky, isn't going to work. Right click a block, it will come back. Uh, so, yeah, that is that. Um, <laughs> pretty cool. Um, really helpful in fact really really helpful and um, even if you was opt you can't uh, so yeah guys that is pretty much it so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you have please leave a rating as it really does help me out and in the next tutorial I'll be doing uh, join items so when a player joins the game uh, so yeah that is it so see you guys next time